Katie Plays Stuff. Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. So today's Christmas, and I'm working. So I'm going to be here for the rest of the afternoon, and I'm going to play another part of the Crooked Man. So let's go. Okay, so last time we were playing the Crooked Man, we met a little boy named Fluffy. He says that he lost his mom and he was waiting for her inside this hospital that we're in. Um, we don't exactly know if he really did lose his mom. We don't really know anything about him at all, actually, except for the fact that he was singing and hanging out in this abandoned hospital, which kind of leads me to believe he could be like a ghost or something weird, but I'm always wrong. Um, so anyway, other than that, um, we met this boy named Fluffy, and he's following us around. We got him with us, and he got locked in a bathroom, and the crooked man came. So that means the crooked man followed us all the way from the law school, and he is here inside this hospital with me and Fluffy. So we need to figure out where this kid's mom is and what's going on. So let's go. Okay. The door opens now. Was it that monster that locked it? Oh, I can't deal with this. Public phone, there's something in the change slot. An F piece. Oh, wait a second. We had that. Flower is good, wash your hands, or do you have lunch? Give me a call! I found the next piece in the phone. Okay, so that's what we need to do next. We need to start finding these pieces. Um, Alright, flower is good. We gotta find like a flower pot, maybe. Maybe downstairs somewhere. Wash your hands, we got that one. Where do you have lunch? We'll go to the cafeteria. So let's do that first. Um, nurses know that. This is a hospital, so it could be pretty much anything. How do I get out of here? Okay. Are there any flower pots in here? No. This is literally gonna just be a huge scavenger hunt. I think the cafeteria is here. Cafeteria. Oh, there's something in here. Yeah! Okay, we got flower is good. Nurses know that. Get close to the sky. That's probably the roof, which I haven't found. Okay, flower is good. Flower. I don't think there's flowers in any of this place. Flowers! Still, pretty flowers. They seem to be artificial. Oh, there's something in the vase! Ah! Oh, I love my life. Okay. Okay, nurses know that. I'm gonna look on these signs. There's a staff room. Maybe there's like a nurse's station or something. Pediatric, surgical, ENT. Does that mean nurse? Nope. Is this a nurse's place? No. Okay. Orthopology, maternity. Ooh, gynecology. Nurses know all about gynecology. A key? That's not what I was looking for. I just want a key! I wonder where it goes. Small key, not sure where it's used. So true. Where did that note come from? My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me, it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self back when I was pure, when I still thought everyone loved me. Well, that's depressing. Radiology, cranial surgery, psychiatry. Locked. Um, 
Maybe we can go put the little pieces back? What's this? Maybe the small key will work. Try it. Yeah! Got the key to the medicine room. That must be what the nurses know. Where's the medicine room? Director's room. Ay, ay, ay. Let's check the basement first before we go anywhere. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots, and I like that song. I see. What is it, mister? I actually learned it as a kid, too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life, and all he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister, but sorry for singing a sad song. Er, uh, uh, no, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing it with your mama? Yeah, Mama likes to sing, too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing, too, David? <laughs> no, I'm no good. You're better off not hearing me try. Oh, okay. Medicine room. Let's save the game. There's a diary. That newbie Steve made a fine mess. He spilled some hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall. I told him that stuff could eat through iron. He better pay me back for this. Okay. Actinite, root extract, mycosis capsules. Blah. I failed chemistry, I really did. Hey, tripped and all. Mom took this stuff. What did they say it was for again? Okay. I don't know. It doesn't say. <laughs> I have no idea what it's for. PL combination granules part blah 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 blah. Zinc, ethanol, oxidol, mercury, even I know these names. What does this have to do with anything? Why did I find a key to the medicine room? Nothing's even in here. The door plate is faded and hard to read. Do we got anything for that? Uh, no. What was that for then? What was the point? Maybe something's upstairs. Unlock the door? saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? No, David, it wasn't. What's up, Mr. David? It's nothing. Hmm. Shelves are empty. Shelves are empty. There's a diary. 12, 3, 3.35 p.m. Tape 15. Subject, Visitor A. Grant, Granitor, <laughs> Garantor for relative in room 413. Contents. A visited after sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient tortures A daily. Due to still thinking herself healthy, for memories of A are also vague, I sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. 2.10, 8.20 tape 16, visitor A, grantor for relative, blah, blah, blah. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that, 
Given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in itself is not happy, so if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish he could come back here, but unfortunately I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. What's that, a storybook? No, it's not. There's a key in the diary, got the psychiatry key. Yeah. Off to downstairs, I think. Dermatology, I need that for sure. Radiology, cranial surgery, psychiatry. Oh my gosh. Someone was just hanging themselves. That means someone pretty much died in this room, probably. I gotta save it. Ugh. Psychiatrist diary. John Smith is dead. John Smith? He hung himself. I was no help at all, it seems. I took a look at the note under his feet, and it said this. It's chasing me, no matter where I go. I can't ever escape, so I've decided to die. But I realized it's grinning. In fact, it's grinning behind me right now. It's been wanting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for. But now, I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. It might turn to follow you next. There's no point in running because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the only one with sympathy. Who was grinning? I can't remember if the crooked man has a smile or not. I don't think so. Memo on the bulletin board. Bed. T trash. Board. What the heck does that mean? Two. Bed in the middle. Three. Trash on top. Four. Board on the bottom. Okay, then... What's this? Was someone doodling? Hmm. What's this depicting? And what are these numbers for? I have no idea. Okay, two, middle bed. Three, top trash. Four, board floor. Two, middle bed. Three, top trash. Four, board floor. Two, middle bed. Three, top trash. Four, floor, more, board. Do, 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 do. I have no idea what that means. I literally have nowhere to go now. Okay, two, middle, bed. Just kidding. Three, no, no, no. One, no. Two, middle, bed. Three, top, trash. Is there a trash can in here? Various trash in the can. What kind of trash? I thought I was being a little detective. What about in here? No trash can in here. Is there a trash can in here? What about this garbage? I did it. Okay, let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save here too. Okay, okay. The trash can. Look inside. Move aside. Turn over. It's cluttered with paper and rubber gloves. Nothing too interesting. Okay. Move it aside. There's nothing on the floor beneath. Okay. Turn it over. There's something on the bottom. One. One. Okay. Okay. So, on 
So that was the trash on the third one. So let's go down. Two was, uh, was it bed, right? Two, bed, middle. I am like a genius! Okay, look on top, covered by dirty sheets. Okay. Look under, hmm, there's writing on the floor. Seven. Okay, so we got seven, oh no, seven, one, I think. Oh gosh, I have a bad memory. Seven, one, and then four, four. I don't remember what this one was. <laughs> yeah, seven, one, and then the board on the floor. Board? Oh! A board. <laughs> six. Seven one six. <sighs> this game is just a bunch of puzzles. Three digit code. Seven. One. Six. Yeah, only took me like five minutes, maybe a little longer. All right, I have no idea where we are. There's a huge pile of sandbags, so you can't go down. Guess we're going up. Okay, blocked. Where are we? The roof! A large wire holds the door handles tight. Not even pliers could cut this. Not that I have those. Hmm, what can I do about this? I don't know. Um... I have no idea. We literally have nothing. A lighter. A law school leaflet. A bloody key. Hint paper. Energy drink. I have no idea. Well, I guess that's not gonna happen right now. Ah! Uh, this is getting stressful. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop it here for now, because I literally have no idea, and I just solved way too many puzzles for one day. But, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.